Hi guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the uh, uh, the ellipse. This is a, one of the four conic sections. What I've done here is I've written out the formula, the general formula for an ellipse, and then I've written out an actual problem. And we're going to identify the parts here and then graph this uh, example. So the first thing you need to identify is where is the center? And the center uh, is often written as h comma k. That's where the ellipse begins. Uh, so here's h, here's k. The x coordinate is going to be 2. And see we have y plus 1. That's really like y minus a negative 1. So that's going to be a center of 2, negative 1 currently. This a squared and b squared tells you how far it is from the center to your major axis and your minor axis. And it doesn't matter which one's which. Uh, the major axis is going to be the bigger number, so here, and the minor axis is going to be the lower one. So the major axis and the minor axis, uh, the major axis uh, is uh, 5 from center and uh, in each direction. And then the minor axis goes plus and minus two from center. And before we actually draw this on a graph, I'm gonna just draw kind of a, a general picture. Um, and uh, then uh, another thing to notice is that this is vertical. The way I know that is because the major axis, the bigger number is under the Y. So I can tell this is gonna be vertical. Uh, so I'm just going to draw a general ellipse that's vertical, kind of like this. And uh, the center is 2, negative 1. We're going to go up 5. So we're going to go to 2, comma 4, because we go from negative 1 up 5 to 4. And then we're going to go down 5 to 2, uh, negative 6, because we go down 5 from negative 1 to negative 6. Uh, those are my vertices. This is a vertex. And this is a vertex. And then we're going to go to my covertices. Uh, we're going to go minor axis goes two from center. So that's going to be four negative one. And if we go two left from zero, that's going to be, I'm sorry, two left from two, that's going to be zero negative one. This is a, called a covertex. The covertex. Uh, this is the major axis right here. I'm not going to write it, but that's major axis. This is minor axis. Uh, so that's kind of what the, the ellipse is going to look like. I'm going to make a prettier copy of it on this graph. We said the center is at 2, negative 1. So that's going to be right here. I'm just going to label it as with a C. That's a center. Uh, the major axis, like I said, went five up and down from the center. So we're going to go up uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to put a V there for vertex. Go down one, two, three, four, five. Put a V there for my vertex. Uh, the minor axis went plus and minus two from the center. So we're going to go right two and left two. We kind of draw that in again. And now I want to find my focus points. The focus points are on the long axis. So in this case, they're going to be on the vertical axis, the major axis. And we always do C squared is A squared minus B squared, or C squared is b squared minus a squared. It just depends on what, which one's bigger. So we just take the bigger one minus the smaller one. <clears throat> For us, c squared is going to be 25 minus 4. Um, c squared equals 21. So c is the square root of 21. And I'm going to just say that's about 4 and a half. We'll just say that's about 4 and a half. Um, so we're going to go up four and a half and down four and a half. One, two, three, four. So the focus point's going to be way down here. Focus point, one, two, three, four and a half. Not a very good picture, but it works. Um, and uh, these are the 
covert is seized right here. So those are all the parts of the ellipse. So the focus point, think about this. If you took the focus points and grabbed them and pulled them out this way, it makes the ellipse flatter if you pulled it out this way. And if you kind of pushed it in and made it made them really close to the middle, it makes it rounder. Um, so the fact that these focus points are really far out to the edge means that this is kind of a long skinny ellipse. Um, if you had an ellipse kind of like this, where it's kind of fatter, you know, here's their center point. Maybe the focus points are, are there now. And if you have a circle, circles don't have focus points because here's the center and, uh, you know, the focus points would just be right on the center because it would be perfectly round. And the reason for that is, you know, for a circle, this would be maybe A and this is B. So A squared minus B squared equals zero for a circle. Um, so anyway, think of the focus points as a way to figure out how long and skinny or how kind of fat and pooched up an ellipse is. I hope this helps. See you later.